Most snowboarders only have one snowboard or one snowboard that they ride consistently. But in this video, I'm going to give you guys five different types of snowboards that every snowboarder should have. If you don't have one of these in your arsenal, maybe you should pick one up because it's going to give you more options and a better time on the mountain. Now, the first snowboard everyone should own is pretty obvious. You probably already have this. It's your main snowboard, your go-to, your daily driver. Now, I recommend this being a twin-shaped snowboard. I have the Burn Custom, which is a twin-shaped directional. Which means you can go any direction, but the main like nose of the board is slightly lifted to help you destroy powder. And I think everybody's main snowboard should be a do-it-all board. Park, big mountain, powder, groomers, whatever you want to ride, this board should allow you to show up on the mountain and whatever presents itself, you can attack it and do very well with it. Despite not having like a powder board for powder, your main board should be able to still ride powder and you should be able to kill it. So once again, I have the Burton Custom. All the snowboards I'm gonna mention that I'm rocking are linked in the description if you wanna pick one of them up, that they are the boards I use to make all this content, but there are many other main snowboards out there. Just make sure you have that style of board, like a twin board that can do it all for you. That's the first type of snowboard everyone should own. Now, if you own a snowboard and you don't have an Evolution sticker on the board, support in the dream, letting everyone know you're part of Team Huckhouse, what are you doing? Your snowboards will ride better if you slap an Evolution sticker on the board. At least that's what I've heard. They're linked in the description. You can also throw it on the side of your head and let everyone know. Once again, that you're part of Team Muckhouse, which is super rad. Also, I'm following back one person a week who's snagging an Evolution sticker. So make sure you snag one, tag me on Instagram, and you might get followed back. Now, the second type of snowboard someone should own is a big mountain snowboard. Not a powder board, a big mountain snowboard. This snowboard is designed for you to ride the gnarliest, scariest, most epic runs. It's gonna support you and keep you safe on the scariness, the big stuff, the, the absolute, like, I can go ride the bumpiest, choppiest, ride over rocks, like, whatever I need to conquer, I know this board has like has my back and normally with that type of terrain you're getting some fresh lines so that's gonna be able to flow in steep and deep powder is super important i like the nidecker thruster for that i've taken this board to alaska i've literally taken it down this gnarly shoots at a basin like this is my go-to big mountain board it's stiff but it's also nimble and it can turn fast so i know i can ride the steepest gnarliest rock shoots and be able to turn my board when i need it to turn and that's why you need a big mountain gnarly board if you want to go do like these gnarlier bigger lines you can take your twin in there but usually what happens is that board it just kind of flexes too much for that type of terrain so having something that's purposely driven for like bigger gnarlier lines is always good to have so once you have the night decker thruster that is linked in the description now this next board is for someone that likes to ride groomers a lot or maybe early season i know for me in the early season i like to be on a squishy board now this could be a reverse camber or just a really soft camber snowboard essentially a board that has got a lot of flex to it that way you can work on your butters you know do presses do a bunch of fun little like presses butters anything that you want to do on the mountain having a board that's not gonna be fighting you while there's not a lot of side hits there's not a terrain park to jump into you know if you're just doing the same run every single day how do we make that more exciting well if you have a flexier board you can then work on butters and little steezy things you know and just I don't know learn more about snowboarding and I think it's rad now the type of board I'm gonna be rocking this early season is the Proteus and we do have our own special pro model of the Proteus which is super rad the cool thing with this board is you can adjust the camber so you can literally put it to camber if you want to grip hard carbs and then you can put it to reverse camber if you want to do butters that's why I'm gonna be rocking it this early season so I can kind of like play around with what do I want to be doing on the mountain today do I want to be pressing and stuff or do I want to stiff this thing up and try and hit some jumps or things so you can check out the Proteus linked in the description now the fourth type of snowboard I think everyone should own is a fun board something that you're just gonna take out because it's a weird shape it's creative it's gonna be a good time so like a swallowtail I know personally I have like a 180 centimeter snowboard it's gigantic it's taller than me it has a huge swallowtail and it's fun to rip and powder or just turns it's like it's awkward it's big it's different <laughs> A lot of people like the Capita Slush Slasher, which will be the board I have linked in the description. This is a powder board, but it's also insanely fun to rip on slushy days, you know, so you're not running any powder with it. That's why it's called the Slush Slasher. So having like a swallowtail, some type of weird shaped board that you can just take out for, once again, to have fun. If you're getting a lot of days on the mountain, it's fun to mix it up. It's fun to ride different shapes and different boards and different cambers. That way you're just getting every experience of, that snowboarding has to offer. Like a different board will give you a different experience on the mountain. It's super rad. Now, before I tell you the last type of snowboard that you guys should get. I want to mention today's video sponsor, Inhuman Crash Pants. Now these are crash pants that you wear underneath your snowboard pants that have like butt pads and hip pads 
all kind of padding so you stop bruising your butt. If you're going out there and getting bruised tailbones when you're snowboarding, you're messing up, get a pair of inhuman crash pants. You're gonna save your butt for the upcoming season. They're super comfortable, they add some warmth. But the moment I started rocking crash pants, my butt pain went away. Whether it's falling onto boxes or falling into the snow when you're learning, crash pants is a game changer. Get yourself a pair of inhuman crash pants linked in the description as well. This is a video sponsor. None of these snowboards are your video sponsors. Now the last type of board I think everyone should get and start getting into because it's not only healthy, but it opens up an incredible different type of snowboarding that's super fun, super unique, and it's not guaranteed that you're gonna get the sickest line, and that is a split board. Split boarding is fun because you're essentially going out and walking up the mountain, but you can get the dopest, gnarliest, sickest powder lines, or you can get a kind of a firm, crusty, like not the sickest line, but the experience is still insane because the uphill is just as much fun as the downhill. And I know you're like, uphill? Like who wants to walk up the mountain? Trust me, it's, it's a about being in nature and being with your friends and like you get that like runner's high when you're doing it. Splitboarding is a ton of fun and I think everyone should give it a shot and you can even do it at ski resorts. When I first started splitboarding, I started at ski resorts so then I could prepare myself, get to know the gear before I went into the back country which is super fun. So I have the TELUS backslash split board. It is linked in the description as well. Splitboarding has been a fun little like new thing to start getting into as like, I know I'm still wearing 170 days a season so I can mix in 10, 20 days of splitboarding in that chunk, like really fun. And like this places we've gone splitboarding, like you can only get there on a split board. You can't get there with a lift, which is so rad. So I hope that helps you guys. Let me know your boards in the description. What is your quiver? How many snowboards do you have? I'd love to hear from you guys. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. It's daily on this channel. We do stuff like this daily. daily.